Instagram carousels are trending right now. Do you know how to create amazing Instagram carousels, seamlessly? That is what we are covering in this video. I will be showing you my complete process of how to create Instagram carousels, step by step. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. First thing first, I hope you guys are safe and healthy at your home. I know it's a hard time we are going through, but this time will pass, and we will fight together against, COVID-19. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification so you don't miss any latest tutorials from me. And if you are subscribed already, I want to say thank you to all, for supporting me and watching my videos till now. Now let's get to the video. There are two ways, to create seamless carousels in Photoshop. One, with using the artboards, and the other, using the guide technique. I will be using the guide technique, as I assume, not all of us have the latest version of the software. So, no matter what version, of Photoshop you are using, this technique will still work. To make the seamless Instagram carousels, create a new Photoshop document. Set the width to 10,800 pixels, and height to 1,350 pixels. This is important, because we are going to create 10 slides carousel. Each slide will have, 1,080 pixels width and, 1,350 pixels height. You have noticed, we are using 1,350 pixels as a height, which means we are creating vertical carousels. If you want you can change the height to 1,080 pixels. That will make square carousels. You will have a horizontal canvas like this. It's not always important to create 10 slides, you can have it as much as you want, but a maximum of 10 slides, are allowed on Instagram. The very first step, is to add the guides. Go to view, and select, new guide layout. First, we need to have, vertical guides. Make sure the column checkbox is selected. Now, enter 10 in the number field and, put 0 in, gutter field, and hit OK. This will put 10 evenly distributed guides across the canvas. Now, select the slice tool, and select slices from guides. This will slice, the canvas in 10 equal slides. Notice, we still have only one layer of canvas. This helps us to keep the file size minimum. Now, it's time to put the horizontal guides. We will use the same process, as vertical guides. But this time, we will use rows, instead of a column. This time we need two guides, and in the gutter field, put 1080. We have a safe area now. It is important, because, in the Instagram grid layout, it will be only showing 1080 pixels by 1080 pixels. For the first slide, always make sure to keep your text within this area. And this is what I mean by Instagram grid layout. By the way, if you have any questions, go follow me on Instagram, I personally answer all of the questions there. Our layout is ready. We are now ready to design. For some precise alignment, you can also add additional guides, to make sure your design looks nice as an individual slide. Let me quickly add that. Now we are officially ready to design our carousels. Before I start designing my main content, I always set up headers and the footers. And they are going to be the same throughout the slides. Unless to update the numbering on slides. You can always customize them if you want. Let me quickly add them. As of now, we have our layout is ready with headers and footers. I always save this file as a template, and keep reusing it for every new carousel. Now, I am going to design my main content of the carousel.
We have our design ready, now the next step is how to save them, and it's important too. Go to Files, Export, and select, Save for Web. Once you click on Save, it will ask you where would you like to save. Choose your desired location and click Save. Go where you saved it, you will have a folder containing all 10 slides in it. Now your 10 slides ready to upload on Instagram as a carousel. Did you like this video? Is any of the part confuses you? Or do you want to learn more about Instagram designing? Let me know in the comments below or follow me on Instagram to ask me any questions. See you in the next video.